Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky playthrough. This is part 8 in this episode. We are finally going on the expedition that we have been longing to go on for a long time now. And oh, we actually get to see the middle rooms. This, I forgot was a thing. But you know what? Let's start with this because we get to read some diaries. Should we be doing this? Hell yes. This is Sunflower's diary. Should we sneak a peek? We, we probably should. <laughs> I would say that. Oh, wait, we're going. Right. What, we, what seems interesting? Because I don't want to go through all of this. That's silly Loudred. Could this be Sunflora's crush? Let's have a look. Sunflora's, oh my gosh, diary, entry two. That's silly Loudred. I already don't want to read anymore. I already regret my decision. Oh my gosh, that's silly Loudred. Oh, he can be so absent-minded. Everyone knows that if you get totally wiped out in a dungeon, you lose some items and half your money. But of course, that silly Loudred forgets all that and goes storming off into the dungeon. And that wound up making us both wipe out. So I got sent back to the guild too. Eek! So frustrating. Oh my gosh, I never, ever want to go to a dungeon with Loudred again. But yes, two new kids joined the guild. I think they were called Flora and Carlos. Oh my gosh, they're both adorable. Yippee! I've read enough. I've, I've read enough of that. I don't want to read any more of that. <laughs> Is there a diary in this room? Okay. I already regret reading the last one, so I'm I'm slightly wondering if this is the best idea, but let's sneak a peek at Bidoof's diary as well. Um, ooh, could this be a crush? Exploring with Sunflora, sure. Bidoof's yep yep journal. Now that sounds much more like Bidoof, I like it. Sunflora is some kind of awesome. Yep yep, I went exploring with Sunflora the other day. It turns out, Sunflora is a real expert at fighting in dungeons. I, no, it's a Sunflora, please don't kid yourself. When an enemy is just out of reach, she doesn't move toward it. Instead, she uses A to launch her regular attack, striking at nothing. Then, the enemy usually spends that turn closing the distance on her. And then, on her next turn, she's the first one close enough to hit. Yep, yep, she sure knows what she's doing, by golly. Why, I wanted to whoop and holler when I saw her use that trick. So thrilling. Sigh. As for me, I always rush into a fight. And that's why I end up being the first to get hit. But it's alright, I reckon. I know the way to do it now and can explore better now. Yep, yep. So that's just a couple of little hints about the game, but uh, we don't have to worry about that second one because we have quick attacks. So we can go the extra distance. However, for right now, let's get this going. Are you ready for the expedition? Honestly, I feel like we're as ready as we're going to get. Incidentally, you may not bring members of the other team. Yep, we've already done all that last episode. We did everything. I didn't actually link the moves in the end, but eh, it's fine. When the other apprentices assemble, I shall commence the briefing. Until then, just wait. All accounted for, it appears. Well then, let me explain about this expedition. Go do stuff. Did I nail it? That first objective is doing stuff. Nailed it. First, the objective. Exploration of Fogbound Lake. Fogbound Lake? Correct. It is a lake that is said to be located far to the east. However, it is perpetually enshrouded by a dense fog. As such, its actual existence has never been confirmed. It is merely the foggy mirage of a spot that lives to this day on rumor alone. It is also rumored a treasure of exquisite beauty is hidden there. What? Why the vocabulary, Chatot? Calm down. Wow, treasure? We're going on a treasure hunt? Just be more like Chatot. Just be overexcited and five years old. Perfect. This is so exciting. The proof. <laughs> Yep, it'll be fun, fun, fun! No, Kazuka, no, no, please, squiggly tough. Sure. Everyone, open your wonder maps, please. First off, this is where Fogbound Lake is said to be. Um, that, that tiny little corner, I don't know if you can really make it out that well, but that, that does look like a tiny corner of water, so I will, I'll go with that. As an uncharted territory, the area is shown under a cloud cover. But it did look like water, so there's a little bit of- it looks kind of plausible. Our guild is here. As you can see, the lake is at a considerable distance from the guild. Yeah? Yeah, there's, there's some mountains in the way. Therefore, we will encamp at the foot of the highlands here. That will serve as our base camp. If we were to travel all at once in a single group to the base camp, our mobility would be restricted. But it would also be a lot safer. Strategies to split up into several groups to travel to the base camp. Okay. I shall announce these groups now. I don't, I don't, I don't like my group. <laughs> I love my group, but I don't like my group. The first group is Sunflora, Loudred, Diglett, and Krogunk. Sunflora is not going to like being with that Loudred after that diary uh, entry. I don't think that's going to go well. You guys, you better not. I'll be back. You should talk. Yeah, that, that's not a good pairing. The next group is Dugtrio, Chimeco, and Corfish. We're a solid group. 
I promise to try my best. Uh, that is actually a reasonably solid group. Um, let's see. Guildmaster and I shall travel as a pair. That's acceptable, yes? Oh, I have to go to Chew of Chatter. That's so boring. Please don't be difficult. This is a key element of our strategy. Meaning, I guess Team Skull should travel independent of us as their own group. That makes sense. And the final group is Flora, Carlos, and Bidoof. All the rookies, you go into as a pair. Good luck. Don't die. <laughs> it's so stupid. We're in the same group. I hope I can keep up. Yup, yup. Same here, Bidoof. Well then. Everyone, let's get to it and move out. Why do we- <laughs> I hate the fact they put all the rookies in the same team. They would not do that. They would not. You'd have at least one experienced member, just in case. But no. The guild's expedition pie began making its way toward Fogbound Lake. According to the plan, the pie was split into the designated groups. And Carlos, Flora, and Bidoof plotted their course. Great. Great. Wonderful. Perfect. What would you like to say? It's been, like, what, five minutes, if that? No. <laughs> Chapter 7. We're, we're going into the jaws of the cliff. I like it. This seems safe. Wow, the sea is right up this way, Carlos. Why are we heading towards the sea? We just, we were shown the map. We shouldn't be heading towards the sea. Uh, okay. Yep, yep, I reckon this is looking more and more like a true expedition. The path ahead will surely get tricky. And this, this is something well known to us explorers. It's a Kangaskhan rock. <laughs> the rock of magic and wonder that makes no sense. Yes siree, you heard a rock. That there's a Kangaskhan rock. A Kangaskhan rock lets you stow and take out items, and it lets you save a record of your progress. It's a real help to travelers. Well, I haven't had much of a chance to use Kangaskhan rocks. I reckon I, sh I shouldn't ought to talk like a big shot. Ugh, I just want to say again, this is my first expedition. Feeling kind of nervous. That goes for us too. We're, we're all beginners. Yep, yeah, all the beginners as, as a place. Perfect. This is where we are now. Where... Uh, I guess I can see why we'd be at the sea, but we aren't heading towards the sea. I guess we are at the sea. I guess I didn't really look at the map that in that great detail. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. We're supposed to join up with everyone at the base camp. That's way over here. We've, made a f We've already gone half the distance without even entering a dungeon. That's pretty good. So as a first stop, we should try reaching this spot. Why would we climb to the top of the mountain when it looks like we could just sort of weave in between? Why, okay. Want to try reaching here as our first objective? No. Yep, yep, I agree, no. No, 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 no. I don't wanna, I don't wanna climb the mountain. That's gonna be really tiring. Flora is acting like a leader. I didn't notice it before. It must be the excitement of exploring that's bringing it out. But Flora, who was so timid before, is trying so much harder. Yes, Flora is getting stronger and more confident bit by bit. Mm, eh. Mm, I don't know. Oh, huh? If you look closely here, there are two entrances. Huh? Now that is mighty vexing. What do we do, Carlos? Which way should we go? Uh, <laughs> side path. <laughs> no, we're going to the craggy coast because we have balls of steel. Let's all let's all of us work together and do this stuff. If we do, um, gets knocked out, do we get knocked out? I think so. Oh, that's gonna suck. I don't care if it's Badoof. Oh no. Oh, that's actually gonna suck. Hang on, I didn't think about this. I didn't consider everything that could go wrong. Um, it'll be fine. Right? Yeah, it'll be fine. Badoof won't die. Badoof is um, an immortal deity, in case you didn't know. Badoof is actually the strongest person on this team. Actually, I wanna have, yeah, Badoof is level 14. So Badoof is actually the highest level on this team. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that's really embarrassing. <laughs> Badoof is actually the big shot of this team. I hate this so much. Okay. That's that's really awkward. Wait, I messed up. Ow? Ow? Can you not? I should not have moved back here. Okay, right, that's... Okay. Okay, Gastrodon. Gastrodon is a scary Pokemon that we do not want to play with as an electric type. Fun fact. Oh dear. I believe that Bidoof can deal with things. I really do. Can I set Bidoof's move? That's the question. <laughs> well, well, not, not like that, I can't. Stop on calling the Bidoof. Please, please leave the Bidoof alone. <laughs> oh no. 
<laughs> Please. Let's fail. God damn. We do have quick attack though, so we can hit from a range, which is nice. As I completely fail at hitting this thing from range. Really? I know my axe dropped, but please. Vice grip, that shouldn't do too much. The only thing that was scary was the Gastrodon. Right. Okay. Okay. We're not even gonna use moves on that thing. Oh, can we just find the stairs? God damn. God damn, the first floor was the most intense floor. I don't think it gets harder than that. I don't think anything gets harder than that first floor. Like, look at this. Boom. Floor. I didn't. Right. I need to change the moves as soon as I go to this next floor. I'm changing moves. I'm not gonna forget. Don't worry. I'm good at this game. <laughs> that's a, that's a Gastrodon, right? We're moving to the side first because I don't want to get hit by a mud bomb and lose all my health. Right, so... But do! I can't change your moves. That sucks. That actually sucks. That actually sucks so much. Um, we'll have it like that for now then, I guess. We are in Water Pulse range, but we can live a Water Pulse, and that might swap, stop someone else getting absolutely destroyed, so that could work. Um, but we can quick attack from here, and we aren't in Mud Bomb range, which is nice. So that's good. That's very, very good for us. Best thing, though, is when the stairs just right there. That's the, that's the best thing for us, because honestly, the main thing right now is just making sure we don't get destroyed. That's nice. That's nice, Chikorita. You do that, you do that, and we will be fine. I tried to move diagonally that entire time and walk in straight lines. Perfect. Stairs. I love stairs. Stairs are my favorite things. I love step aerobics. It's my favorite thing. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> um, I think we can deal with the Dratini. Can the Dratini join me? God damn it. That'd be great. I don't know if things can join me, but I know they won't be able to come with me for the expedition. I don't know if I can just send them back to the guild. Well, the guild isn't open. So I probably can't. It'd be pretty dumb if I could. So, I'm gonna assume we can't pick up any team members in this area, which... That's a little bit sad, I guess, but it's fine. We don't have to worry too much. A Dratini, though, would be great, because, you know, having a Dragonite... For the late game, that would be something. I hit the wrong button. God damn it. I'm good at this. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Stairs, where are you? Stairs, I need you. Stairs, you're, you're my savior. Yes. Why can't I just walk straight to the staircase? I always have to walk around it like some kind of idiot. Um, we should be in quick attack range for both of these. So we get to choose which one we want to quick attack. I'm going to quick attack the wing girl because I could have a flying type move. Why does that matter? It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't matter in the slightest. I don't know why I said that really. Oh, but we are now on par with this Bidoof. Bidoof is slacking. We're catching you. You're a fool. Ha. Stupid Bidoof. You're wrecked. I'm going to catch you easy. <laughs> why am I why am I trying to gloat to a Bidoof? I feel like I'm at a low point in my life right here. God damn. <laughs> I'm trying to prove myself to a Bidoof that I'm worth it. Send help. <laughs> Send so much help. Oh. H hey. I'm just gonna tackle you right quick. Don't do anything crazy. That's that's fine. That's fine. I don't know why I felt the need to spark instead of tackle, but I just clicked it because it was quicker. That's fine, that's fine. We took out a Gastrodon, I feel proud. I don't know how long this goes on for, but um, I'm, I'm feeling confident. I feel like we have plenty of PP to get through this. We aren't in any kind of a bad spot right now, so that's good. We have plenty of PP, we're at full health. The enemies aren't proving to be too much trouble because we're an electric type and we're in a water type area. Overall, nothing bad's really happening. I like it. Um, I do want to grab as many gummies as possible. And then when I next find the stairs, uh, Krabby, you can harden in the corner all you want. I don't want... Wait, a gorgeous box. I want that. So, as we haven't really found any boxes yet, I will quickly explain what this does, because it is a new item. Um, there is a area in the town, outside of the guild, with a store that has a Zatu in it. The Zatu appraises these boxes that you find in the dungeons, and they can contain a whole bunch of things inside. You can't tell what's inside. As far as I'm aware, there might be some kind of, um, some kind of box that might have a little bit more specific, specific thing to it. But um, overall, you can't tell what's inside, and you get a bunch of good items. You can get like, what have we found so far? We found gummies, I'm pretty sure you can find gummies, maybe TMs, um, bands, scarves, stuff like that. Proteins and irons, I think, and stuff like that are in there as well. Let's look at the wonder map. Are we at the place where you've set out to make us go? Yes. Okay. The base camp is there. I reckon we've gotten ourselves a lot closer. We have. 
It's not far now. If we cross this mountain, we'll reach the base camp. Whoops, that was my belly growling. Uh, um, uh, food. Food. Do you want to call it a day? We can rest here tonight. I agree completely. Now let's eat. Well, okay then. The next morning... We haven't moved. We haven't moved a single spot. We actually fell asleep standing there. Damn. Alright gang, we have to get moving. Crossing this mountain's going to take us to the base camp. Yep, yep. Let's get it done. Uh, but first of all, we're gonna quickly go and store a couple of items, like that box, because we aren't gonna need the gorgeous box with us. Um, we'll eat all the gummies straight away. Um, what else don't we need? I mean, if we're eating the gummies, we kinda need the apples just in case. I wanna keep the petra berries just in case. I wanna keep the max elixir. We don't need two max elixirs. I only need one max elixir, really. I kinda just wanna keep everything on me. I really do. And we will save, I guess, just in case everything goes atrociously. We will save and continue. Because it's good to know that things are gonna go right. So it's fine. Are you ready, Carlos? Hell yes. Which way should we go? Uh, Mount Horn or Rock Path? Why would we take the substitute option when we can go right through Mount Horn? Probably full of ride on. Hell yes. Actually, this is a terrible area for me to be, and Badoof. Chikorita, can you, like, save us? What is this disgusting creature in front of me, and how do I- Oh. I guess that's how I kill it. It just straight up dies. Because it's a stupid little parasect. I guess that makes sense. Um, I also- Ooh, ooh, we can get iron forms now. Right, let's go through all of these gummies. So, Sky Gummy, we're eating. We're gonna eat as many of these as possible, because I'm feeling greedy, I'm feeling real fat. I wanna eat everything. Uh, we got the IQ skill Montreya, I'm pretty sure Chikorita already has that. Which is a little bit worrying, for sure. Um... I'm mainly doing this because I want the stat boosts. I would love stat boosts. Stat boosts are a real great thing. Special attack up one. That isn't too important, we're a physical attacker, but that's fine, that's fine. It's good to have, I guess. I don't think any particular type of gummy determines a certain stat increase. I don't think it works like EVs, however it might. I honestly don't have a clue. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued, to be honest. I have no idea how that works. Do you get plus 10 from that? Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna hobble back and Chikorita's gonna deal with that for us because I don't wanna play with the Leech Seed. We still get Leech from back here? Can I quick attack over my teammate? Maybe. I honestly am not sure. There are many things in this game that I do not know. That is one of them. I don't know if I can quick attack through a teammate to hit enemies. I hope so. That'd be a really helpful thing. Can't really test it with Chikorita not in a good spot though. Um, you're, you're really in the way, to be honest, Parasect. And you just poisoned my buddy, can you not? Can you not, Parasect? Can you just disappear, please? You're, you're a hideous Pokemon. I don't like you as a Pokemon. Please get out. Right, we can just go straight to that. Hell yes. My favorite kind of levels. <laughs> God damn it. Razor Leaf, that's gonna do like two. Yep. Yep. Easy. Um, I don't know why I'm so focused on collecting the money. We don't really need the money for anything. We do get a light box though. Two boxes to appraise when we get back. I think it costs a little bit of money. I didn't mention that before when I was talking about it. I think when you appraise a box, you have to give um, Zatu a certain amount of money to appraise it. Obviously, it's a store. Probably is. Don't know why I'm so confused at the idea of that. Of course we spend money on it. Why wouldn't we? As we just immediately travel through all of these. Actually, this is... Chikorita, can you do me a favor? Chikorita, can you stand close to it without killing it, please? Can I quick attack for you? I can. That's something very important to remember. Okay, good. We can quick attack through our teammates because it's too smooth and we'll, we'll be fine. It's good to have. Good to have. Badoof, can you just smack that thing in the face? God damn it. I wish I could set his moves to just use headbutt. It would be such a pointless Badoof, but it would be extra damage, which would be nice. We really missed Spark. Spark can't miss. Oh, this is where things get tough. 
Right, Aerodactyl is a much more intimidating Pokemon. I am going to waste my Sparks on those, because they are a very, very strong Pokemon. They have Precious, they make you use up more PP, and overall, they have Agility, and that means that they can start attacking like three times in a turn, or what is one turn for us, and they have Wing Attack as well, and Chikorita will drop. Chikorita will actually drop, so it's very important that we be careful around that. Uh, we can just sort of mess around with the Cascoon, though. Because Cascoon's a free XP. I don't care what anyone says, they're free XP, they just sit there and harden. Cascoons, Mepods, Cocooners, all of these types of Pokemon, they just sit there. They can basic, use their like little basic attack kind of thing, but meh, meh, it doesn't matter too much. Tenth floor, we're, go we're going high up. We are going high up in the world. We are going to be the, the highest people in the planet, okay? Can't confirm. I'm fairly certain there's higher places. I'm not, I don't know where, but I'm fairly certain there's higher places. Um, we are going to spark the Aerodactyl. I don't know how many sparks we have left, but it's probably something I should be conscious of. Three. That's not many. That's really not many. It's something we have to be very cautious of. Chikorita, can you not? Chikorita, you don't need to do this. Just don't get blown up, okay? That's the only thing I don't want to happen. If Chikorita gets blown up by self-destruct and I get kicked out of this dungeon, I'd be so mad. I'd be so goddamn mad. But it seems like we're fine. I don't want to go this way, because I just saw two Pokemon over there that looked like they could be heading this way. Oh, okay. Chikorita, don't do it. Okay. Chikorita, stop. Stop battling the things that explode. God damn it, Chikorita. You're about to cause me trouble, aren't you? I feel like he's about to cause me trouble. Maybe not. Maybe we're good. 13th floor? Okay, we're, go we're going through a lot of floors. But overall, I think we're fine. I don't think we have anything scary ahead of us. Bit of PP saver skill activated. You don't need that skill, Badoof. Okay, you are really useless for the most part. 14th floor. I don't think there's more than 15. I really don't. I'd be surprised if there was. There could be, but I'd be surprised if there was more than 15 floors. So, we'll quick attack the pipe coat. We don't have to worry about saving PP anymore because we're right at the end. We do get the level up. Badoof is now level 16. When did that happen? Badoof? You wanna calm down, buddy? You wanna stop showing off? Floor gains some HP, which is good. We're, um... We're not level 16. Which is something. But that's fine. We made it through, either way. Chapter 8, Groudon's Hut. That was the quickest chapter in a while. <laughs> huff, huff. We, we did it. We got over Mount Horn. We finally made it. Yes, sirree. We have arrived at the base camp. Howdy, folks. Sorry to keep you all waiting. You are all late. Everyone else arrived a long time ago. Well, we are, we are the three rookies as a team. Go set your equipment now. Make haste. Now that everyone's assembled, let's get on with our strategy briefing. Yes, sirree. Hmm? What's wrong, Carlos? What's this weird sensation? I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I... Wait a second. I know this place. Have I been here before? Maybe. Does that have something to do with me? Before I lost my memory? Can we have some music back, please? Come on, come on. We haven't got all day. We have to go, Carlos. Give me my music back. Oh, music. <laughs> Don't take my sound away. There we go. Um, attention please. It appears everyone has arrived at our base camp safe and sound. We shall now proceed to the exploration of Fogbound Lake. As you can see, we are in a densely forested area. Densely forested as we stand around with no trees particularly near us in a nice little opening. Somewhere within this forest, Fogbound Lake is supposedly concealed. But so far, there has been nothing more than a rumor. Exploration teams of all stripes have mounted many a challenge, but so far, the lake has eluded discovery. I know why, because I can remember why, and it's pretty damn awesome why. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. So is it really there, or what? This fogbound lake. Silly crawfish. You'll wreck the dream if you go and say something like that. Yeah, don't spoil things now. Hey, hey. Um, may I? Um, while we were traveling, I heard about a certain legend. A legend, you say? Yes, a legend about Fogbound Lake. 
According to the legend, Bookround Lake is home to a Pokemon named Uxie. The Pokemon is said to be exceedingly rare. Uxie is said to lock eyes with others and wipe their memories clean. What? Wipe their memories clean? That is why, even if travelers were to happen upon Bookbound Lake, Uxie would might wipe their memories clean. Thereby, muzzling the travelers from revealing the existence of the lake. And that is how Uxie protects Bookbound Lake. I was told such a legend remains. Golly, that's a pre pretty hair-raising tale. What do I do if my memory is wiped clean? I don't think you have much to worry about. After all, you're, you're so forgetful anyway. You make me go, eek! <laughs> Freaking sun floor. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Everyone just kind of ignores that comment. Ahem. You should realize that places of this sort can be expected to have a tale, a folk tale or a legend attached to them. Our guild has overcome difficult challenges and obstacles while conducting successful operations. Absolutely. That's how our guild has earned a reputation for being first class. Ha ha ha, don't worry. Everything will be all right. Let's believe in success for this adventure too, and let's try, let's try. Let's move on with our plan. The Guildmaster and I shall remain here to gather intelligence from our teams in the field. You have to go off in teams and explore this forest. Be aware that this forest is enshrouded in a deep fog. Once you enter it, visibility is severely restricted. We think that Fogbound Lake has defied discovery because of this fog. Perhaps there is a way of lifting this fog. Therefore, the search is twofold. One, search for the lake. And two, find a way to lift the fog. If you accomplish either thing, return to the base camp and tell me or the Guildmaster. That is all. Alright everyone, let's give it our best as always. Chat on, you can learn Defog. So can Skuntank, I'm pretty sure. I'm fairly certain. So can Zubat. Just Defog. Just get the TM. We should have brought the TM with us. Let's all try our best. Or in some games, I'm pretty sure it was a HM. Gen 5. I don't remember Gen 5 that well. Probably Gen 5. It'd be nice if we made a discovery or two. We'll find the lake, I'm sure of it. I'll be the first to find it. Dad, do you think maybe the Fogbound Lake could be underground? I was thinking we should try looking underground. Ah, my son, my pride and joy, you make me proud. Let's look underground. Okay, everyone, we're off. Boop. Boop. <laughs> hey, 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 we can't afford to do water lever. Yep, yep, we need to hurry. Badoof, Badoof is leading that charge. We're gonna stand around. Well then, we should go too, hmm boys? Chaw. And we're just gonna stand around awkwardly. Hell yeah, perfect. We should go, Carlos, we need to hurry. I know this place. According to the legend, the Pokemon Uxie can wipe clean the memories of others. Are these two things really just a coincidence? Maybe I came here before I lost my memory. And maybe I met Uxie, and he wiped my memory clean. Could that have happened? That wouldn't explain why I woke up on a random beach. Um... With, with with no memory. I, that, that doesn't really make sense why we'd be there and then not have a memory, but meh, okay. Hey Carlos, why do you keep drifting off like that? It's not like you. Let's get ready quickly and go into the forest like the others. Um, well, well, no, what we're gonna do is we're gonna save here. This has been a fun episode. We actually got to chapter eight, which is kind of nice, but next episode we will continue with this lake for right now, though, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!